recognize uh, Gretchen Quarterman this morning as uh, she represents the community and promoting uh, boards and presentations throughout our community. You may have uh, seen her videos and their uh, notes in the newspaper from time to time. So she's with us this morning, video taping our session. So we're glad to have her representing a community group. And, uh, Thanks for having me. Thank you very much. A couple of items just from legislative updates. You know, the legislative session has started. And there are several pieces of legislation that uh, we're tracking right now. I've met with the Valdosta Chamber of Commerce through their members' third forum a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Kyla and I went and attended that session, and I made a, an oral presentation, basically supporting three pieces of legislation that we're interested in uh, that uh, we'll be tracking. I've also communicated those interests to our legislative delegation in the form of a letter and my comments and will be active with the Georgia Hospital Association, the Alliance for Community Hospitals, and Hometown Health in advocating those positions. It's too early right now to really get into much detail since they just started this week, but we'll be tracking that legislation. Also, the State Attorney General is tracking some legislation. Uh, if you heard him on the radio this morning, uh, we've been following that uh, as well. And with that, so maybe by next month, we'll have a little better handle on exactly where the bills are, what our specific interests are, and uh, I may use you and call you for advocacy on any given thing through the session. Can and you give us the uh, bill numbers on here? I don't have the bill numbers. I have the content. Uh, I looked at those bill numbers last night, and I can't recite them, and I'll get them to you. It involves the uh, provider tax. And our The not-for-profit. Yeah. The, our position, we are supporting, the hospital industry is supporting the provider tax. We've been paying that for the last three years, and so we want to continue to do that. That basically allows the state to pool money from the providers, hospitals primarily, right. and do some matching funding to support our Medicaid rates. Right. So we're, we're going to, we would like that to continue. That actually expires in June of 2013, and we're advocating that that continues. Uh, and in lieu of a better alternative, that's the reason I said it's kind of too early to yeah. tell. We're not sure what the alternatives right. are. Uh, we want to maintain the certificate of need laws as they currently exist in the state of Georgia. We think they provide um, appropriate protections and supervisions to the industry to uh, control um, the, the growth of an expansion of services under state supervision. We think that's a good, good methodology right now. We're going to support that. And then uh, finally, we're very interested in watching our tax exempt status. Uh, as you know, there's some efforts to discuss whether hospitals should be tax exempt or not. And so we're monitoring that legislation as well as um, for nonprofit for non public hospitals and their tax exempt status. So those are the three legislative issues that we're tracking. There may be others that may come up during the session. And we'll communicate through email on those. I think I sent my position paper out to each of you. Uh, that my presentation to the uh, chamber. Did we send that out, Mindy? Yes. yes. So it's attached. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So those, they're basically there. Is that this? Yeah. The bill numbers aren't on there, though. Yeah. They, they showed up last yeah. night, and uh, I, I wrote that quote, and I'll be wrong. Yeah. 